What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to go through all known exotic weapons coming with the Taken King, minus three. Now we'll talk about the minus three at the end of the video. Now all information on these exotic weapons is taken from the Bungie Armoury which is linked in the video description if you guys do want to check it out. And if you guys could leave a like I would appreciate the support, it really does help out. Now getting straight into the video on the first exotic weapon we're going to take a look at it's called the ace of spades now this is an exotic hand cannon description reads don't play your hand unless you're sure you have that ace in the hole now we're going to take a look at its perks and its primary perks are uh, third eye radar stays active while aiming down its weapon sights maverick precision kills move one round from your ammo reserves into the magazine and firefly Precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. Selectable perk 1 we have Steady Hand IS, Quick Draw IS and True Sight IS. And selectable perk 2 we have Reinforced Barrel, High Calibre Rounds and Perfect Balance. And it also states you can also obtain this weapon as a quest reward. Moving on and the next weapon we're going to take a look at is called the Fabian Strategy. This is a auto rifle, subtitle reads, wait for enemy to make a mistake steak, dice, standby for ghost resurrection, repeat as necessary. Primary perks are crowd control, kills with this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. Front lines, this weapon has increased handling, stability and rate of fire when enemies are close. And life support, kills with this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health. Selectable perk 1 we have Linear Compensator, CQB Ballistics and Smooth Ballistics. And selectable perk 2 we have Small Bore, Extended Mag and Lightweight. Moving on and next up we have an Exotic Scout Rifle which I believe is pronounced Tleilok which I believe is an Aztec God of Rain but I could be mistaken. And its subtitle reads Release the Storm, Hold Nothing Back. Primary perks are Grenadier kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade. Overflow, this weapon has better handling, rate of fire and stability while the welder's super is charged. And Eye of the Storm, this weapon becomes more accurate as your health gets lower. Selectable perk 1, Soft Ballistics, Accurized Ballistics and Smooth Ballistics. And selectable perk 2, we have Injection Mode, Hand Loaded and Armor Piercing Rounds. This weapon also can be obtained as a quest reward. Moving on and we have the first curse which is also an exotic hand cannon. Subtitle reads is when death becomes an afterthought. Primary perks are dead eye, bonus to range, stability and movement speed when aiming down sights. Triple tap, rapidly landing three precision hits will return one round to the magazine. And the first curse, precision kills while aiming down sights grant increased range and stability until the next reload. Selectable perk 1 we have smooth ballistics, CQB ballistics and soft ballistics and selectable perk 2 we have speed reload, quick draw and lightweight. Okay next up we have an auto rifle I think that's pronounced Zalo. I could be wrong I'm just going to call it the Halo Supercell because that sounds fucking epic. Subtitle reads an upcycled torrent of righteous thunder. Primary perks are Zalo Supercell Arc projectiles have a chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. Bolts from the blue. Double kills with this weapon. Charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. And persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. Selectable perk 1. We have smart drift control, CQB ballistics and aggressive ballistics. And selectable perk 2. We have braced flame, hammer forged and rifled barrel. Sources of this weapon. It states the uh, agent of the nine sometimes sells this weapon in the tower. Nothing about a quest line here. Next up we have the Bolian or the Boolean Gemini. This is obviously a renamed Vestian Dynasty, which is a scout rifle. Subtitle reads, fight your way. Primary perks are, it's easier to aim under fire using this weapon. Selectable perk one, we have one way. Bonus agility and precision kills, stacks up to three times or another. Bonus armor on non-precision kills, stacks up to three times. Selectable perk two, we have smooth ballistics, accurized ballistics, and aggressive ballistics. And selectable perk three, we have perfect balance, single point sling, and hammer forged. 
I'm sure when this was called the Vestian Dynasty, selectable perk one we have one way or another. I'm sure this was called David and Goliath, but I could be wrong. Okay, the next primary exotic weapon we're gonna take a look at, and I believe the last on the armory is the Jade Rabbit. Now this is a PlayStation exclusive, I believe. Subtitle reads, what kind of hairbrain scheme have you got in your mind this time? Primary perks are the fate of all fools, chain body shots to gain damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine. The Zen moment causing damage with this weapon increases its stability and spray and play. Increases the reload speed of this weapon when its mag is empty. Select for perk 1 we have CQB Ballistics, Soft Ballistics and Smart Drift Control. And select for perk 2 we have Custom Optics, Extended Mag and Speed Reload. Okay, so we're going to move on to the special weapon exotics new to the Taken King. And we're going to start with the Telesto. Now this is a fusion rifle offering void damage. Subtitle reads, Festiges of the Queen's Harbingers, yet linger among Saturn's moons. Whatever the fuck that means. Primary perks are Harbinger Spark. Multi kills with this weapon spawn orbs for your allies. That's fucking amazing. Unplanned Reprive. Fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast and battle runner kills with this weapon grant a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. Selectable perk 1 we have CQB ballistics, smart drift control and smooth ballistics and selectable perk 2 we have flared magwell, lightweight and enhanced battery. Sources of obtaining this weapon it states Zer the agent of the nine sometimes sells this weapon in the tower. Moving on and we have the chaperone which is the Tex Mechanica shotgun. This shotgun offers solar damage. Its subtitle reads and I'm quoting Amanda Holland here my mother had a shotgun we called the chaperone kept us alive out there before we got to the city primary perks are the roadborn precision kills briefly grant bonus handling range and precision damage with this weapon the survivor three precision kills while born of the road is active will return two rounds to the chamber and the chaperone this weapon fires a single precision slug grants agility boost Selectable perk 1 we have Accuized Ballistics, Linear Compensator and Field Choke and Selectable perk 2 we have Field Scout, Single Point Sling and Snapshot. This weapon can be obtained as a quest reward. Moving on and we have an exotic sniper rifle called the Hereafter offering arc damage. Description reads, huddled at the mountain's base we had no choices but to beat our plowshares into swords once more. Primary perks are the hereafter, crouching increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. Blinding light, precision kills with this weapon have a chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies and perfectionist. Magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. Selectable perk 1 we have Linear Compensator, Smooth Ballistics and Aggressive Ballistics and Selectable perk 2 we have Speed Reload, Snapshot and Injection Mode. Sources of obtaining this weapon, it states there sometimes sells this weapon in the tower. We're now going to move on to the heavy weapons obtainable with the Taken King DLC and we have three swords right here and first up we have the Bolt Caster which is the Arc Exotic Sword. Description reads, with your own hands you forge the mighty Bolt Caster. Now take it in hand and unleash its thunder. Primary perks are Sword Strike, use Square or X to attack with this sword. Arc Forged Guard, use to guard, effective against solar and void attacks, less effective against arc attacks. Tempered Light, increased armor when welding this sword. Sword of Thunder, used to shoot a beam of arc light from your sword, creating a lingering electrical storm. Sounds fucking amazing. Selectable perk 1, Scabbard, increases sword ammo capacity and light by the sword. Kills with the sword have a chance to grant orbs. And selectable perk 2, Warrior of Light, increased damage for your attack. And Scabbard, increased sword ammo capacity. Now it states the ways you can obtain this sword. Lord Shax, the Crucible Handler, sometimes sells this item in the tower and it can be obtained from a quest as a reward. Moving on and we have the Dark Drinker. Now this is the Void Exotic Sword. Description reads, with your own hands you forge the mighty Dark Drinker. Now take it in hand and slake its first. 
Prime move perks are use square or X to attack with the sword, void forged guard, used to guard effective against arc and solo attacks, less effective against void attacks, tempered light increased armor when wielding the sword, and supermassive vortex used to unleash a spiral of void energy in all directions. Selectable perk 1 we have Scabard, increases ammo sword capacity and we have Die by the Sword, kills with the sword replenish grenade energy. Selectable perk 2 we have Warrior of Light, increased damage for your attack and we have Scabard, increases sword ammo capacity. Sources of obtaining this weapon, Lord Shaxx the Crucible Handler sometimes sells this weapon in the tower and it can also be obtained as a quest reward. Moving on to the last weapon that comes with the Taken King which is in the armory and it is the Ray's Lighter. Description reads, with your own hands you forge the mighty Ray's Lighter, now take it in hand and feed its flames. Now this is the Solar Exotic Sword. Primary perks are, use X or Square to attack with the sword, Solar Forged Guard, used to guard effective against arc and void attacks, less effective against solo attacks, tempered light increased armor when welding the sword, phonix uppercut used to launch into a solar uppercut, selectable perk 1 we have scabbard, increased sword ammo capacity and thrive by the sword, kills with the sword grant super energy, selectable perk 2 we have scabbard again increases ammo capacity, and we have Warrior of Light, increased damage for your attack. Sources of obtaining this weapon, Lord Shaxx, the Crucible Handler, sometimes sells this item in the tower and it can also be obtained as a quest reward. Now guys, they are all the exotic weapons coming with the Taken King, the Armory States, but there are a couple missing. There is no Sleeper Simulant here, there is no Touch of Malice and there's also no time to explain. We all know the Sleeper Simulant is the new exotic heavy weapon fusion rifle. The no time to explain is the exotic version of the Stranger's Rifle. The Touch of Malice, we ain't quite sure what this is yet, but I've got a funny feeling this may be the King's Fool main weapon, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tell me what you think of these new set of exotic weapons down below, and peace out until next time. Peace!